how is it that people are calling this junk journals? I really don't... Oh, that's why. That's the reason why it's... Hi, everyone. What's up? My name is Kay Ramos from Well Journal Blog. And welcome to my channel where I share some tips to help you gain clarity and purpose as you get closer to Jesus. Today, I am so excited to film this video because i've been waiting for this day or night it's actually night time right now while i'm filming here because a friend was gracious enough to give me a junk journal so i have a good friend that i met here on youtube well we didn't meet face to face yet but we sort of like have a special connection <laughs> with each other we haven't met yet but she was so gracious to make and send me a junk journal now what the heck is a junk journal? You're probably asking right now. So junk journal is actually like a different kind of journaling than what I'm used to making or using. First of all, when you think of junk journal, what impression do you have in your mind? To me, when I heard of junk journal, I thought they're basically like made of different junk that you saw from your house or from wherever you go and then you put them together in order to make journal well i am so surprised that when i found out about uh, the hashtag junk journal i saw several journals on Insta instagram that are so pretty so nice so chic and they're like scrapbook and so lisa safried actually specializes on this junk journal and she has her own youtube channel where she shows you her process and I will link her channel down below. A little backstory here. Lisa is actually the person who encouraged me to go back to YouTube. So I think my first upload on YouTube was around 2018 or 2019. I guess 2018. But before that, I was already uploading on YouTube. But for a different channel and I decided to close it. But on 2018 and 2019, I decided to do or focus more on Christian niche. But then I stopped uploading. I think it was last year, 2020, when Lisa found my video or some of my videos. And then she left a comment on one of my videos and said something like, I wish you will upload again. And I don't know. I felt like a friend left a comment that I needed to hear at that time. And I took her comment to heart. And then... I guess 60 videos later, here we are, just because I listened to her comment. So Lisa, thank you so much for being gracious enough to leave that comment because you know what? I believe that sometimes God places people in our lives in order to sometimes make us think, make us reflect on the things that we or the next steps that we should do in life. I am really extremely blessed that Lisa decided to make me one because I feel like this is something that I would need, especially at this phase of my life right now where I need some encouragement when it comes to praying. So again, Lisa, thank you so much for your effort and of course for being such a sweet kindred spirit to me. So guys, I'm so excited. This is my first time to see. Actually, I saw it already on YouTube because she did a flip through, but... I cannot wait to open it and then see it together with you. Let's go. So here I am so excited to open this, guys. Oh my gosh. I think I waited for a few days to unbox this and show everything to you. So I will see this um, the same time as you see it right now. So uh, there are two pouches. I guess this is the main one. So let's open this first and then we'll check what's in here later. I guess these are something that would complement this. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of thought that went into this. Ooh, can you see that? I think it's the other way around. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty, you guys. I wish that you could smell this. Oh my gosh, Lisa. Whatever perfume or powder you're using, it smells so good. Look at this. How is it that people are calling this junk journals? I really don't... Oh, that's why. That's the reason why it smells so good. Again, how do people call this junk journal? There's no junk in here. 
it's so cute so look at this it's full of intricate details like um ribbon lace handmade from lisa oh my gosh i don't even want to remove the ribbon <laughs> because it, it looks so pretty but hey oh my gosh Thank you so much, Lisa. I'm loving it. Just seeing it. Okay. So the first page. Oh my. I think this is what they call shabby chic. Shabby chic design. Yes, I guess. So what do we have here? So this one is a... Oh my gosh. An envelope. What's in here? Oh, look how cute these are. <laughs> Prayer request. Let me zoom in. Oh my gosh. So basically, I think you could write the prayer request of people who, you know, you want to pray for. This will come handy if you want to remember th things or people who are asking for prayers. And they're in a cute, cute pouch or envelope, not pouch. <laughs> What am I talking about? And just light it here. And this one. And the papers are actually really nice. I think Lisa. I don't know if Lisa printed this on a regular paper. Or she bought this as a pattern paper. I don't know. I feel like she bought it as a digital printable. Yes. that's. So look at this. This book belongs to, of course, it belongs to me. This one, I feel like it looks like a stamp to me. Yeah. This one is good not only for prayer journal, but I could even use this and put it in my Bible. Look at those small details. I can never make one like this, to be honest with you. So another one. I guess I could start writing my first prayer here or here see that there's enough space to write your prayer and also here oh my gosh i'm so excited oh look at this heart another um card i guess oh my gosh every page not every page but almost every we have like one here and then we have another tag here which is also which also has um bible verse see faith hope and love that i could use as bookmarks and they're in a cute envelope i can even write my prayer here so everything i can see there's a space to write So it not, it's, it's just not a regular sheet of paper like I'm used to because I'm my, my journals are very plain. But this one is the next level. Oh, I saw Lisa make this. She made this. She has a tutorial on how to make these envelopes. They're so cute. Another bookmarks here. With God, all things are possible. Wait, I'm really curious if these are stamps or these are actually printed. Lisa, please tell me if these are stamps because they are so cute. And if these are stamps, then you must have a lot of stamps of Bible verses. I don't know. I'm so naive when it comes to this. See? Oh, I got, look at this. I think she cut this one. And I really like this kind of um, design because actually Lisa did not ask me of the design that I want. But I really like this design because um, it sort of like helps me reminisce or give me a feeling of Jane Austen or Anne of Green Gables feeling. I love reading classics. So I love this. So write your prayer here and also on the back. 
this one notepads I guess because I also get some notepads from St. Jude sometimes um guess check I think see now uh, I think I'm slowly getting the idea of junk journals basically um trying to make use of everything that you have or resources that you have at home and repurpose it into something that you want so in this case this guest check i could use it again to like um probably write prayer requests of other people or to track the prayers based on dates i guess that's my thought process right now i might change it again space to write prayer space to write prayer oh my gosh really cute and lovely another bookmark here and what i like about this is these pouches if i could because i also like to collect um several um pieces of or like codes or bible verses from magazines and all so one good thing um is that i can clip those here put them here just like what i'm doing in my war binder this oh my gosh look at this wonderful lace so cute notes handmade with love yes obviously it's, there's a lot of love that went into this one by the way lisa also made a flip through of this journal so you can also check her video that i will link down below to know her thought process of how she created this, why did she choose these certain designs or elements, what's the purpose that she has in mind when she included these things because uh, her thought process might be, her thought process as a creator might be uh, different from my thought process as a recipient who is very new to junk journal. See that? These are cute little pieces that I guess sometimes you could Put them there just to embellish your journal, right? Make make it a little less boring. Or you could simply write small prayers here. I write small, so I could probably use this. But for now, I feel like I want to embellish this journal. Even though it's already really pretty to begin with. Oh my gosh. That's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, I'll put it back here because I don't want to lose any piece. that you even have to slide it and then another space for prayer I guess Oh, I love this Bible verse so much. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. So again, you can use it as a bookmark. And of course, you can write down your prayer here. Love one another as I have loved you. And I like that every bookmark has a cute lace ribbon. Oh, look at this postcard. It looks so cute. It's like taking you back in time, right? And I just want to dress up like, what, Regency period? So this one is a different um, envelope this time. It has different layers. How can people be this creative? Like some people are born with so much creativity in this way. And some people like me are just like plain when it comes to arts. <laughs> Oh, 
I could already see how I'm going to use this journal. I could already tell you that this will really, really improve. See this? this I like that um, Lisa is very intentional in what she put here. So I feel like this one came from a magazine or something. And that's what I like about it is because whatever you have, like oh, it's, it's like treasure hunting. If you see it somewhere and then you keep it that and eventually put it in your warbinder or prayer journal. Oh, so pretty. And I think we're on the last page. Oh my gosh. Oops, I'm not going to open this because I feel like this is a personal note. So I'm going to keep it later. Oh my goodness, that is very pretty. Everything is pretty, right guys? What do you guys think? I, mean, I could already imagine myself using this journal so i'm gonna um tie it back i wish i could tie it like with how she did it but please forgive me lisa if i can't tie it properly as pretty as you did now let's move on to this here i guess these are additional things that i could include she's so intentional So we have a small envelope here. Oh, cute. Is this a sticker? Look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh, look at this envelope. It's so cute. It's like the tiniest version of the envelope that I use. What's in here? So all, all of this here are really, really nice addition because I have very limited res resources. Again, this is my first junk journal and I cannot wait to use it. I cannot wait to use everything. So What do you guys think? Don't you think it's so lovely and so pretty? Like you could easily put it in your bag and then maybe um, put a, a, a pen here so you could write it whenever you want. So let me just give you a quick flip through again so of the journal. I am so glad that I waited to share it with you 
before using it because I feel like if I started writing here, I cannot fully share everything to you because then I would have to cover my personal prayers and you won't see the entire beauty. So now you have an idea about what a junk journal is if you are like me who doesn't have or who, who knows very little about junk journal. So I don't want to call it junk journal, but that's the term they use in this community in this niche so again hopefully this would inspire you to try a different type of prayer journaling so maybe you want to be more creative like this one my prayer journaling is more of writing 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 and that that's been working for me for several years but since my prayer life is you know kind of a little bit of lifeless lately this would surely 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 help me and i feel like god whispered something to lisa that i needed help in this area lately and so when she approached me that she's making a journal from for me and she asked me what type of journal do i want of course i didn't say no i said i i i want a prayer journal and here we go i have my very first prayer junk journal Thank you so much, Lisa. You are such a true kindred spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I can't wait to use it. And all of you guys out there, please go try to make your own if you are creative like her. Or just check out check out her videos and she will teach you how to make one. I am so excited to use it and I can't wait how it could help me in my prayer life. So again, if you would like some help when it comes to prayer journaling i have several videos that i will link down below but if you want to know more about junk journal i will link lisa's channel below because i don't know anything about junk journal so thank you so much for watching guys i appreciate you being here again this is k ramos and of course if this video inspires you don't forget to like and subscribe and i appreciate you being here love you guys with the love of jesus bye